James Kaufman, World News Report Today. Today is September 1st, 2022, 3.30 p.m. Central here in the U.S. God bless you and yours, no matter where you are in the world, folks. Please subscribe, give us a thumbs up, ring that bell for critical future updates. Here we go again. Earth's magnetic field is being bombarded and has been for the last three hours. Now you can see that it's been hit harder on the geophone here than it was here. And it looks like these spikes exceed maybe 300 hertz, but they're substantial and started right around 1800 UTC time. It's now right at 2100 UTC time. Of course, when we see our electromagnetic shield being hit by something, we usually see a surge or spike in our Schumann resonance as we have seen here. Now this starts at around 1800 UTC time and this model is not updating correctly. It has not been doing so since it's been turned on. It's about one hour in rears. So it shows you right through about 20 UTC time. You can see the huge spike and then the lack of a huge spike but still spiking and then another huge spike that has started and progressed for the last hour. Of course you just can't see it on this chart. With that said you can see it on this chart i.e. off the hook. Now on the previous chart we saw the Schumann resonance spiked right through 105 Hertz which is as high as that model went. This model only goes up to 50 Hertz as they really thought they would never deal with anything higher than 50 Hertz. And you can see that it smashes the 50 Hertz for a few hours. There's a period, I, I will say, of lull, but it really only goes down to around 15 Hertz at its lowest and then back up right through 105 Hertz. As we can see, only up to 50 Hertz on this model here. So we've had three hours of Schumann resonance spiking, and we also had Schumann resonance spiking off the charts earlier in the day UTC time. This would be from about 7 last night till about midnight last night central time here in the U.S. You can see how substantial the spikes were going into the day here, especially for the first two hours and 15 minutes. And you can see that we've really gone after it last hour and we're getting back into that groove right now after having, like we said, a slight, uh, well, lull in the spiking. These are geophone lines. This is the last 24 hours. Each strip is one hour and every quadrant is 15 minutes here. So this is about two hours and 15 minutes, maybe 30, arguably. And this is about 2 hours and 15 minutes as well. Heading over to the Russian Tomsk model, we can confirm there were two large spikes off the charts. Charts ended at 40 hertz here. And we see that they happened before the other spikes did. So with that in mind, we could actually come to a theory that as Earth spins, it's being exposed to something outside of our atmosphere causing these spikes. Now, they're intermittent. I can't find a real pattern, although I will say that uh, this large spike yesterday is right here from 18 to 19, 19 to 20. And this one here again is from 19 to 20. So there is a pattern right there for sure. We must be being exposed to something around 1900 to 20 Tomsk time. Let me know what y'all think that could be. It could be almost anything. Many people think we're ascending. Others think there's an inbound Nibiru Planet X Wormwood. Some think that there's a binary star that might be ultraviolet or infrared that would be unseeable to humans. Some think that it could be a rogue planet or even a black hole causing this. Maybe a galactic sheet. At this point, guys, it's up in the air, but these spikes are huge. 
shooting right through the charts, charts in at 105 hertz. They have no problem breaking right through that. God bless you and yours. Please share and subscribe. Let me know how you're feeling if affected by these spikes. And always remember that anything is possible in Bizarro World.